With no further ado, uh, I'd like to start with the first steel man. Thank you for coming. Good evening. Thank you for coming to our joint steel band and percussion ensemble concert. My name is Mark Simmons, and I have the pleasure of directing the steel bands here at Richmond High School. Uh, the group you see before us is the beginning steel band. These are a group of players who have never, ever touched a steel band, minus one, and that's uh, Mr. Matt Lewis, who is a, a visiting pro from the advanced steel band, helping us cover some parts, because we have some illness. And because it's halfway through November, the radio station's already beat us to it, we're gonna play some Christmas music for you. <laughs>
beginning steel band. One more round of applause as they exit the stadium. And now we're going to invite the advanced steel band up. And while we're dealing with this trend, while we're dealing with the transition here, I would like to take a moment to plug our parent organization, the Richmond Music Boosters, as a volunteer group run by parents and community members that help support our programs. A lot of what we do, a lot of what we do is possible only because of their support. So if you uh, have a moment to spare and you would like to help out with something that your kid is doing, um, please look at your program. There's an email address where you can contact our Music Booster president, Lisa Felsman. Uh, so that's the Music Booster announcement for the concert. Every concert gets one. And now what you see in front of you is our advanced steel band. These are people who have some pretty serious musical experience and pan experience. Um, we get to play really, really fun music, as you're going to see tonight. Um, we're going to open with what I call the, the advanced band anthem. Uh, this is Bahia Street Beat.
has a very popular Bob Marley tune called Jammin'. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna switch gears now, and again, since it's halfway through November, we might as well play some more Christmas music. That's it. <laughs>
Okay, all right, testing, testing. Um, so we're about to get our last number up here before we let the percussion ensemble up. I want to say thank you to all of you, community members, parents, and everything in between for coming and supporting our students. Uh, they've worked very, very hard to prepare the concert for you this evening, and <clears throat> this is the proud director moment. I am very privileged to get to work with these hard-working students in the steel bands. A lot of them have high pride and want to do, like, they want to pursue excellence with their music. And so <clears throat> I think that we're doing all right. We're doing all right. They're over there like, oh my God, it's so embarrassing. Thank you. Um, so now we're going to get to our final number. And this is a doozy. This is brute force. Um, it's a piece from, like, 1943 uh, is one of the first ever recorded steel band tunes ever. And so it's called a road march, and that's because between here and like the very inception of steel bands, uh, people in Trinidad and Tobago, which is where the instruments were invented, they would take oil drums that were cut off and wrap them around their neck. They put like leather straps around it, and so then they could play as they march down the street. So this is a road march that's been converted from the, pan, it's called Pan Round De Neck. And that, that third word is, is spelled D-E, Pan Round De Neck. Um, and so this has been converted to our modern steel band setting and well, I'll just let the piece speak for itself.
Okay, so thank you again. Um, I'm, I'm very proud of all of my steel band students, and yes, stage left. Yeah. Okay. I'm very proud of all of them. Uh, again, high achievers, and they have lots and lots of pride in what they do, and it, it comes very clear in class. So now, I'm going to turn this over to Mr. Merkamp and to the percussion class. Simmons and both the steel drums, I, they were fabulous. Would you please give them one more round of applause? You guys were amazing. Also, I couldn't help but be fascinated by all the lighting that was going on during that. And someone that's behind the scenes that doesn't often get recognition is Mr. Mike Rogan. And Mike does a fabulous job with the lighting and the sound and everything. So if you wouldn't mind, Give Mike a well-deserved hand. Good job. All right, so a little background. Um, I went to school at Butler University, and uh, I was a trumpet performance major for a while, and then I decided to become a teacher. And um, when I decided to become a teacher, I started playing different instruments, and one of the things I did was I played the biggest bass drum that they had in the Butler Marching Band, and I <clears throat> became the king of the quarter note. And uh, there's not a lot of recognition for the guy that plays the bottom bass drum. Uh, so that was my first experience with percussion. My second was playing in, or actually I took a percussion methods class. We have to take methods classes in strings and brass and percussion. We had a whole semester to prepare us to become percussion teachers, which was not nearly enough. And I learned that especially uh, one of the schools I taught at before, I had a small percussion ensemble. I, I had, you know, eight, nine, twelve kids in percussion ensemble, and it was not too difficult, and uh, most of them were pretty beginning level students. So when they hired me to be here at Richmond, uh, they said, oh, you're going to have a percussion ensemble, and I thought, okay, oh, that should be fun, and then they gave me the roster, and there were 24 people on the roster. <laughs> And I started to get a little nervous because some of these students are phenomenal percussionists already. Uh, so what's been really cool for me is uh, I'm like learning, I'm going to a whole new level in my percussion knowledge and I'm going to have to continue to develop my percussion knowledge because some of these kids are just phenomenal players and uh, it's been a real joy to work with them. This is also the group that you will see playing at the football games, uh, as usually mostly as our drum line, and at the basketball games, mostly as our drum line. Um, so you'll see them everywhere. And these are the kids that, uh, after the football games, the basketball games, that play all those really great cadences and provide all that energy. And so what you're going to see tonight is that they're in a different context. The context is we are doing very large percussion ensembles. So uh, we're going to start with a piece that's called Blazed Blues. And this is from a publisher that's called Roll Off Publishing. And they do tons and tons of really interesting and fun percussion pieces. So you're going to hear us do the first Blaze Blues.
The next selection we're going to play for you is quite a bit different. It's uh, kind of got a Latin flavor to it. Uh, it features uh, like some Latin percussion. We'll have some uh, an instrument called a go-go go bell, some cowbells, um, some shakers. Uh, we have a samba whistle. So some of the instruments are a little bit of a kind of a Latin flavor. So this is called Chelsea's Dance. six or eight or nine players and so I'm very thankful for Royal Off Percussion right now. On the front of all of their percussion uh, arrangements, it has the title, but one of the things it will say is it will have like the difficulty level. And when I look at the difficulty level of this one, it says medium and I'm like, uh, I pull it out of the file and I think, oh medium, well we can do medium, yeah. And then I can pull it out and we start working on it and I'm like, oh my goodness. So uh, this is called Beyond the Stars and this has been a real challenge. Uh, it's a real challenging one. So hope you enjoy Beyond the Stars. This will conclude our program. Uh, as Mr. Simmons said, we are very appreciative of our audiences, of our parents, grandparents, friends and uh, that support all of our student musicians. As you can see, we have lots of lots of wonderful things that are happening at Richmond High School in our music department. So we look forward to continuing to offer you some great uh, programs for your students. Um, I would like to mention that our next um, concert for the band is on November the 29th. We'll have our holiday concert, which is primarily going to be Christmas music. So please come out and support the bands on November the 29th. The band, once again, thanks for being here. We will close our program with Beyond the Stars.